Hi guys. Wow, what a day this has been. It's Sunday in Australia, the 10th of March. We woke up. <laughs> it was a day I said, I'm not going anywhere near the computer. <laughs> We've done everything that we can. So what do I do? Sit down, have Vegemite toast and tea for breakfast, <laughs> turn the computer on, and there are messages. The first thing I see from Andrea in Germany is that I have spoken to the Pope. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a special upload. It really is a day for rejoicing. However, I promised John Hall, who's in the Bahamas, he's been Granite Man on the YouTube. What a man he is too. He's been faithful to hear everything we've been sharing for the last couple of years since he found us and to implement all of the protocols. Um, he's been in the Bahamas now for a little over a month and his uncle, 78 years old, Alzheimer's, is uh, recovering because John has been faithful to the Lord and um, what we have told the world they can do for themselves. So I'm going to read through John's communications, look over backwards and forwards, then we'll read through uh, emails that have been sent directly to the Pope himself. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, as a sandwich, a salad sandwich. Don't want to. <laughs> hey, I'm sitting oh. in his throne, my feet can't touch the ground. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, a day of rejoicing, certainly. We'll, we'll, we'll just, it's going to be all over the place, but it'll be interesting. Okay, now going back to John Hall, let's start from a few days ago. Uh, last seven days, let's see what. Send it again. Okay, all right, so the beginning was. Um, oh, John has been growing hydroponically organic food and fish. An awesome system as a prototype, all contained within troughs and tubs, outside an apartment, 764 square feet. He... Oh, this could be dicey. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm just looking at the cup too that's resting there on the... Anyway, John... John has done an amazing job with, the, and his brother as well, they've been working together to raise um, organic food in the Bahamas, that's his heart. So I'm going to read uh, where the conversation started. He said, of his farms, the prototype my brother started on last summer, we're going to expand and duplicate the system out on the farm where they are, they're in town at them until he gets somewhere to stay out at the farm, 250 acres. He says, this system grows everything we've tried so far. It be behind the apartment we stay in, so not much room. And I'm, I'm saying bloody unreal. <laughs> um, and we ask, how, how long have they been working on the project? And he says, uh, three years from when they decided uh, that he and his brother took on the setting up of the system. And I worked on the power, water, cooking, heating, off the grid, using solar wind system for the farm so they can get set up out there. And then we are going to build individual self-contained systems in troughs, 3,000 square feet. This way we can't lose the whole farm from something going wrong. Um, I'll get the photographs to Joel so that you can see what John's been able to accomplish. It's 250 acres of awesome. Yeah, yeah, well it will be, but what they've done in the 764 square feet as the prototype for what will be out at the farm. Wow. He says, then he says, once the shelter is finished, I'll be moving there full time so I can get more time in per day. Um, okay. And, of course, I asked him, you know, as Granite Man, and, and you know, what, what has he, he done? He says he was born in the Bahamas as a fisherman, got married, moved to Florida, started in the stone business, got divorced, moved to Maine, built a 10,000-square-foot machine there to make granite countertops. And he got sick with diabetes, that's type 2, and decided to grow food and fix the problem for himself. He told his brother about it and he was all for it. So the granite started getting heavy and the back started hurting pretty bad. So I leased my business to one of the fellas working for me. 
packed the stuff up, and here I am. And of course, he took with him to the Bahamas uh, a sawmill, so he's going to be building um, their own log cabins um, from scratch, cutting down the trees and then playing and everything. He says, now I'm ready to build the largest organic farm in the country. So I have skills. I say, yes, you do. And he wants to use them. I tell him that uh, he's, you know, he's going to have eternity <laughs> to get younger and stronger. Everlasting life is lived on the earth. Um, we talk about the... Uh, uh, he said he built uh, all of the machines to cut and polish the granite, automated them and made the job easier for the younger ones. <laughs> he says they like easy. Now, he says, my uncle is wheelbear town. He said, this is where he talks about the uncle. My uncle is wheelchair bound. And then he says, not. He came walking out of his bedroom and he's getting better every day. Started the wheatgrass juice on him today. He wanted more. Now, getting back to the uncle, we actually started this conversation about his uncle over on Facebook. And John had been there 26 days. And as soon as he got there, he, his uncle, no memory, just not walking, just completely, he called it old timer's disease, started his uncle on colloidal silver and the bicarb soda in water. Started cooking with virgin coconut oil, cut out any crap. And in the 26 days that he'd been doing this, he said the improvement was remarkable and that during, and he was at the point where his uncle actually remembered who it was that the, was the executor of his estate. Now, from that point, and that's probably 10 days ago now that I'm finding out about all of this and, and John, what he's been able to accomplish in maybe perhaps two weeks. He's saying that um, he had a plan to begin the uncle on wheatgrass that he was growing himself and also get him onto the MMS2, the calcium hypochlorite within the capsule. So uh, now we have another conversation. Yeah, I said he used to build kitchens with granite countertops. He also built his, uh, his machines for making house siding and... Uh, I said, it's wonderful news about your uncle. I want to cry. <laughs> and I said to him back then, I'll, I'll do an upload today, but it's happening now. Um, it talks about the 764 square feet. I bought the tools to start everything when I came from Maine. Alaskan sawmill parts, the island is full of pine. Wood beam and pl planks, they'll make their own. So... Oh, I, I asked him, must have been five, probably last weekend, can you upload pictures of your uncle walking so I can include them? Um, so that, that's going to happen. He says uh, his uncle has started formulating his sentences a little better, still doesn't know who I am. There There's still, uh, was still a problem with his uncle key, cluing in exactly who uh, John is in relation to him, although he was able to remember the executor. However, as we go through the week, he said, I changed his food, took him off the meds, baking soda and colloidal silver for the past three weeks. Now I'm starting the wheat grass and the sprouts are germinating in the window. And uh, I tell him about the MMS uh, capsules. He was going to get the, the, the gelatin capsules from the, uh, the store. We tell him what to do. Uh, Okay, just the MMS. Uh, and I told him, we said, we gave the natives, this is in uh, Fiji, and also when we sent them to Papua New Guinea, the instructions, 14 capsules, that's seven days times two each day, one in the morning and one at night time. And uh, they were having responses all after the first capsule. Each capsule goes deeper into the body to clean up the, uh, the waters of the body and take out everything that uh, shouldn't be there. Uh, now, of course, his brother apparently is HIV positive and he was uh, been sharing everything with his brother. We tell him to do the same. Tell him about coconuts, uh, instructions there. I'll read through this. This is useful. If either of them uh, um, experienced nausea after taking the first one, put less in the capsule until they can tolerate it. You can you know, just put less in each capsule until you tolerate it and build up to take the one full capsule. I said the natives were very brave. They don't care. Only two threw up out of uh, hundreds, but I made sure they were taking the first one in front of us 
so that I could talk them through and give give them more water if they started to feel that nausea. Some of them fell asleep right in front of me on the floor. Oh, good, because when they woke up, they felt so much better. And then when they got home with their supply, they knew what to expect and it was no big deal. They finished the lot faithfully. And then I just say that the one that, one that threw up was the lady with breast cancer who was sent home from the Lambafa hospital and told never to return since she smelled by smelled so bad and that's when Lamy, our uh, saint, went to her, treated her with everything including the capsule. She did projectile vomit across the room. After that she got up, she had a shower, resumed her life from that moment on. The projectile vomiting was ridding her body of the toxins that were making her so ill. And then five weeks later she phoned Lamy um, to say that um, it was all gone, all the sores had come out of her, they had all healed over and she had resumed She'd been living her life for the last five weeks. Um, okay, so... Oh, we talk about his uncle remembering the, 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 who the executor of his estate was. Um, and then I was just asking some more detail. I said, yes, your uncle remembered. That was great. When you walk in the door to see him for the first time each day, does he recognise you but, but still not know your name, as in from the day before? He says at this point, he knows we take care of him but not sure because he has a hard time getting the words out. I've been working on communication. Um, all right, so now we go on uh, talking about the, some things that he does remember but not others. He's, he says uh, it's been six years since he's been in this state, in this uh, state. So uh, he, uh, I, because I said to him, you've made leaps and bounds in such a short time because it's been six years that the uncle's been like this. Um, and, and then John says, I think so. It made me cry the day I got here. And he says he is starting to smell better too. That you know, of course. Um, and I say as he's more physically able because he can walk, his brain will repair faster. And speaking of smell, I ask him, does he taste food? Um, and then John says, I just don't know how to quit. And I said, well, neither does God. <laughs> and then he says he made the comment that he really liked the food I was making for him, so I guess the taste buds work. I said, good, zinc is the key to a sense of smell and taste. Um, all right, he's checking a few things out I suggested and we talk about food, etc. Now getting, uh, he took five gallons of coconut oil with him to the island, virgin coconut oil. Oh, now this is interesting, I'll just read this out because I sent him an article uh, regarding coconut oil because I, I Google searched um, coconut oil re reversing, well actually no, I, I said, I, I just googled reversing Alzheimer's and it took me to an article about coconut oil. And so I sent that link to him and uh, four teaspoons every day according to the article, Mr Newport who was being looked after by his wife and he was relatively young, just a, a man of 57, took four teaspoons every day a year later Three and months. that's all he did. Three months. But yeah, well, I'm saying a year later, he's telling the story, he's fit, he's running, but the improvement started immediately. And then with a matter of literally days and then weeks and then over the month, uh, he, he just progressed until one year later uh, when the article was written, he's, he's got his life back, he's back into everything. So, that, and that was just the coconut oil. Now, for people going bald, if you take some honey and put it on the top, you'll be covered in flies and you won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> now, so that was last so week. Your head is at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was the conversation with John last weekend, and then so we go get through the week until Thursday when he writes again, just a brief message. Hi, Mum. The last couple of days there has been a big improvement with my uncle. What's that? I'm hunting on top of the head for baldness. <laughs> 
That could be like air gravity. Well, you're doing away with all patents, patents, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing away with the patent system. Right? It's a lot cheaper than national uh, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys, please, it's this, is it, this is important information. I promised John I'd do this. Yeah, keep going. I'm just having a chat. <laughs> okay. okay. The last couple of days there has been a big improvement with my uncle. We are actually holding a conversation together, something that hasn't happened in years. My brother heard us talking and couldn't believe it. I'm excited about that. I have not got the MMS yet, haven't had a ride. Today I'll try to get there. I'll keep you posted. Love ya, he says. I said, good news. So today... He says, I started on the MMS today. This is, you know, a couple of hours ago. A few minutes ago, took them, made them like he made them up and then took one. I said, great. <laughs> now, so, great, we are making headway. We've sent a private email to Joseph Ratzinger. You know, he knows of Yar through Andrea in Germany. She spoke with him. So this is all recorded earlier, um, all of our findings when we came downstairs. And I did turn the computer on after saying, I'm not going to turn it on. I'm not going to be over here. Anyway, no. by the by the way, by by the way, <laughs> the cheap lip gloss that that uh, it is very cheap because I, I I if I have to pay two or you know more than two or three dollars for anything then I don't get it. So yeah, it's real cheap lip gloss and it is my weapon of mass destruction. My lips are my weapons of mass destruction. So um, except for when it was in Nimbin. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. And I had a quarter of a hash cookie given to me by clay feet and I couldn't open it. It was wonderful. <laughs> so all the trolls send your hash cookies over. Uh, anyway, so this is really an amazing day. Um, yes, and John responds. He says, yes, I've been watching. Thank you so much for everything. My brother says he wants to start the protocol in the morning and I'm going to start Uncle in the morning. That's on, So that's on the MMS too. Uncle's been on everything else, leaps and bounds. He was joking with John. He says he said he wanted a drink, as in, you know, like vodka and rum or something. What is it, uh, bourbon and coke? It, it, was, it was a joke because then he said he, he laughed and said, just kidding, to John as he said he wanted to. Anyway, that was last week. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, I... It, we talk about starting the protocol in the morning. This is just less than an hour ago. I said, lovely, just sent another email to the Pope. All very exciting. The second email was um, uh, private photographs. Well, not private. They're all public. They're up there. But photographs of the Christ. And then uh, the link. Because the Pope see it. Yes, because the Pope wanted to see it. Uh, um, so, and the, the link to the, uh, what is it, the script site? Or which site is it? The one with the Cigar. flicker. Uh, so there's, there's thousands of drawings uploaded there that he can get his staff to just figure out how to get there and watch the slideshow of what it is that God has been doing to set the captives free, which is all of you. And he'll have much fun with that. So it's all, it's all about this day now. So I say to John, you know, we'll do an upload on your uncle. I'll read through our communications here. We'll start recording now after I put on my cheap lip gloss my lips are the weapons of mass destruction. Is he still there? Yeah, he says you're awesome, so I'll see what he's saying now. Uh, um, we are recording. <laughs> Have read your uh, testament. testament. There it is. Testimony. Is there anything <laughs> else you would like the world to? You might say, to... my brother just walked in, the old man's dead. <laughs> 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 oh, what am I saying? To... Oh, the world. Rolled. R-O-L-D. Okay. W-R-L-D. Have I had a mop this morning? I have had yeah. a mop. <laughs> 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 You can tell by the laugh, can't you? Yeah, Does it I was change? Just say that it's not the laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's it like without a mocker? It's, it's still lively. The same? Yeah. It's, 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 it's a little bit more. Oh, okay. okay. All right. More cheeky. <laughs> All right. Let's see if John responds. He might have fallen asleep since it's 11.04 p.m. <laughs> now, can... can can you get those photos if I send them to you? 
mm -hmm. of, of the uh, vegetable garden that we worked on. John's and, and put it in to show the world what we mean. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> You're the video, what are you, the videographer, the, uh, the man that's made the it all. Director. The film director. We've been a lot in positions of uh, who, who will be what within the Vatican and it will be cleaned out, of course, of all devils. And Vati we cleanse. The, the Vati cleanse. Um, and we've decided that um, what's going to happen to all of those guilty of the uh, perversions and is that they'll all be rounded up. Should we tell the world now or wait till we get there? Yeah, tell them. Okay. They're all going to be rounded up and held captive in the catacombs underneath, uh, amongst the six million skulls that are down there. They'll be locked in their prison cells and then uh, they'll have the lights on 24-7 and they'll hear a, a, a recording of my voice going, Hello! And then the laughter, the mocker laughter, and all, all recorded with my cheap lip gloss. Oh, that's the first I've heard of this. <laughs> 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 it's going to be some spinning blades. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, me preaching and teaching and um, uh, of just who the Christ is and how they've all been so fucked in the head to think that they could outsmart God. Who comes to the earth as a small child, a baby, once again, and defeats the beast to set the captives free. Okay, John says he's looking forward to living a healthy, disease-free life. John himself has reversed his own type 2 diabetes. He, can't, he again followed everything that we said to do and uh, cut all of the junk food out of his life, took control, and within three months it's completely gone, confirmed by his rather astonished doctor. When the doctor suggested that... Um, he should uh, start shooting up insulin. He, he just said, no fucking way. That was his response. I'll deal with it myself. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Sounds good. We let this one go up? Yep, yep. As Fun is? Times. This is... This is the end. However, it's also the beginning of paradise upon the earth. Brought to you by God okay. in the Flesh. Brian Lennon, go lightly, Marshall. I'm going to get a cardboard handle adapter for the Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> put on windshield and wipers. And his, his, his. Yeah, put them straight up. Just stand up now, the windshield wipers. I'm sure Brett with that airbrush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and. Oh, the spiders. Uh, just yes. <laughs> everybody send Andrea, and uh, she was petrified, but she was strong. All she could say is, oh, oh. And I said, you'll do it. You'll, you, you, you know, be strong. Don't give up. So she has been, she has really brought it home for the world. Nice one, Andrea. <laughs> and um, then I'll find, and yes, can you find one? Beautiful, um, wonderful. Her face, she's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And of course she's been oppressed, um, literally being held prisoner in her life, but not for much longer. You're the private secretary, darling, so just hang in there. Everybody will be sprung from their prison. And, um, yeah, all right, you can get a photograph. Yeah, all right. Jane. Okay. You all heard me give instructions to <laughs> <laughs> the cinematographer. And how do I get out of here again? I know I ask this every time because, every oh, there it is. All right. Bye.